Okay, one day in Washington, D.C., George Bush was channel surfing on, on Japanese, some Japanese channels, and he ran into an anime series called Oran Host Club, and he really liked what he saw, and he was so impressed with it, it inspired him to get into voice acting. So, and since there are multiple voice acting studios in Texas, and that he lives in Texas, he decided to go to Funimation, and he found out that they were planning on doing a dub of the series, and they were considering having Vic Mignogna voice Tamaki, but then when George Bush came in, they thought he did a really good Tamaki as well. So they had a hard time deciding who to have voice the character until they decided to have it be George Bush. Switch. Obviously, Vic was very mad at this because he wanted more publicity for himself. Let's see if I can pronounce it. Um, so, Vic wanted to sabotage Bush's career. He did this by ruining his house and stealing Bush's shampoo. Well, no one wants a president with dirty hair. So, they impeached him and even Fundamation fired him because his hair just started smelling. I mean, come on, buy some more shampoo. But the reason why he wouldn't buy more shampoo was because it was a very rare and expensive type of shampoo made in France, but they just continued making it. Of course, he really liked the shampoo, so he didn't want it anymore. He just couldn't live without it. Vic Madonna, meanwhile, was very happy because after seven episodes, of foreign high school host club having George Bush's voice, he was able to change to Tamaki. When the first volume of Orin High School Host Club came out, everyone was like, why is our pres our former president doing the voice of Tamaki? Switch. <laughs> well, after they got past episode seven, that wasn't a problem anymore. Everyone was so confused, but Little did they know, the battle had only begun. Bush didn't want to give up the role that easily. Oh no! So, one day, as Vic Mignona was going in to record, George Bush tackled him from behind, found him gagged him, and stuffed, stuffed him in the closet. And disguised himself, who knows how that worked, and went into the studio on his own. Luckily for us, he didn't manage to actually record anything because Vic Mignogna escaped from the closet and told Bush, you do know that this series is about gay guys and cross judges, right? And that just intrigued George Bush even more. <laughs> so he thought, oh my gosh, I have got to be, I've got to be this Vic and I have got to be Tamaki. I, I am so much better than Vic would ever be in that part. I don't know why people would hire Vic, even though he is a great actor. So, I, I know. I'll see if I can talk them into having, into letting myself voice Tamaki and have Vic voicing Honey switch. Well, Jerry Jewell showed up and he had finished working on Fruit Basket, Voice of Keo, anyone? And he told President Bush, uh, no, you really don't want to do this because Tamaki isn't gay. Well, Vic had just kicked <coughs> a girl out of her spot, Jessica, Jessica Boone, yeah. So Jessica Boone was really upset that she was no longer playing Honey. And so she tackled George Bush. We all know who won that battle. Switch. It was starting to turn into a voice actor free for all. Lucy Christian, not being one to want to give up, really wanted to be the voice of Harvey. She didn't really have the voice for it, but she wanted to be in our high school host club. Anyway, so she ended up as that evil extra in episode one, chapter one in the manga. Switch. Oh, and it just all went to hell when Greg Ayers and Yuri Lowenthal showed up. <laughs> See, they both wanted to voice Rain Gang, who knows why, probably because she has the best hair and they're both obsessed with well-shampooed characters. Now... Story... The story was about to 
become catastrophic, tragic, chaotic. Switch. Because Dick Cheney started to get, in, to get involved in the tryouts, and he decided, and he he decided to pick a random character, and so he decided to. I forget her name, but he decided to play the part of the girl, the, the main female character, and and the, and their decision to on whether or not to have him play her was switch. Was horrible, of course. Yeah. So the main voice actors of Harvey was, was not Greg Ayers or sorry, Lord Gary Lowenthal or anyone else who was there. Um, took his gun and shot him. Well, from there, it just went to chaos before the producer said, you know what, the show has already been aired online and out on DVD, and we've just been letting you guys mess around in the studios, but we've got another anime coming. Let's see here now, what was it? Oh yeah, it was a yaoi anime, so they all joined on that boat. Too bad the girls were voicing guys in this one as well. But George Bush was really, actually, his eyes were opened by the experience and he understood a bit more about where gay rights come from. And he actually became a supporter of the Rainbow Alliance out of this all. And he had a grand old time voicing the creepy old dude in that new Yowie anime. <laughs> Then, in 2010, we got another war, but luckily, George Bush, the amazing diplomat who had learned from his voice acting experience, was there to save us by passing new laws that keep the president from putting us into stupid wars. A little bit late for that. Story. Uh, oh, um, <clears throat> ironically enough, this war was about flower rights. Two bordering countries both wanted the rights to this valley, where only in this valley was this special flower. And as a thank you for settling the war, um, the country that won gave George Bush this flower. Now, this flower was a magical flower, and it turns your hair pink. And, and, and George Bush thought he was hot with pink hair. He thought he was going to be the next great sex symbol, and it turned out that only only gay people thought he was hot. So he began becoming a gay sex symbol, and when he went to political gatherings, a lot more gay people showed up than usual. And he was so pissed off about that he decided to blow up the four kids' studio, and he did that. And 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 then that, and after that. He made, he made a, a law that no anime dub can ever suck as much as a four kids dub, and and fun and and, he, and and so many otaku were thrilled by that that he also it also made him want to be more generous. So he said that he would that he would make sure that everyone who deserved to, to voice a character in Orange Host Club would get to. So the dub turned out to be the way fans wanted at the end.